Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the mysteries of the spiritual realm and the biblical worldview. In this video, we will explain why God does not forgive fallen angels and Satan, who rebelled against him with full knowledge and free will. We will also explore the nature of angels, sin, repentance, and divine justice, and how they differ from human experiences. 3. The Puzzle of Satan's Rebellion One of the most puzzling questions in theology is how did a perfectly created angel choose to do evil? Why did God not give Satan a second chance? Why did God allow the rebellion to happen in the first place? The Bible tells us that Satan was originally named Lucifer, which means light bearer or morning star. He was one of the highest and most beautiful angels in heaven, endowed with wisdom, power, and glory. He was the anointed cherub who covered the throne of God, and he was blameless in his ways from the day he was created, Ezekiel 28 verses 12 to 15. However, Lucifer became proud of his beauty and position, and he desired to be like God. He said in his heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly, on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds, I will make myself like the Most High. Isaiah 14 verses 13 to 14, Lucifer's pride led him to rebel against God, and he persuaded a third of the angels to join him in his revolt. He tried to overthrow God's authority and take his place, but he was defeated and cast out of heaven, along with his followers. He became known as Satan, which means adversary, or accuser, and the fallen angels became known as demons, who are enemies of God and humans. Revelation 12 verses 3 to 9, God did not give Satan a second chance, because his sin was not a mistake or a weakness, but a deliberate and informed choice. Satan knew who God was, and what he was doing, and he chose to oppose him anyway. He did not repent or seek forgiveness, but persisted in his rebellion. God allowed the rebellion to happen, because he gave angels free will, just like he gave humans free will. He did not create robots or puppets, but intelligent and moral beings, who can choose to love and obey him, or reject and disobey him. God respects the choices of his creatures, even if they are wrong, and he holds them accountable for their actions. For the nature of angels Angels are spiritual beings created by God, who exist in a different dimension from the physical world. They are not visible to human eyes, unless God allows them to appear in human form, or in dreams or visions. They have free will, knowledge, and wisdom, but they are not omniscient, omnipotent, or omnipresent. They are finite and limited, unlike God, who is infinite and unlimited. Hebrews 1 verse 14, Colossians 1 verse 16, Psalm 103 verse 20, Angels serve God as messengers, protectors, and worshippers. They deliver God's messages to humans, such as the announcement of Jesus' birth to Mary and Joseph, or the revelation of the end times to John. They protect God's people from harm, such as the angel who shut the mouths of the lions when Daniel was thrown into the den, or the angel who freed Peter from prison. They worship God in heaven, singing praises and glory to him, such as the angelic choir who proclaimed glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Luke 1 verses 26 to 38, Revelation 1 verse 1, Daniel 6 verse 22, Acts 12 verses 7 to 11, Luke 2 verses 13 to 14, angels are organized into different ranks and orders, such as archangels, cherubim, seraphim, and others. The Bible mentions only three angels by name, Michael, Gabriel, and Lucifer. Michael is the archangel, who leads the army of God against Satan and his forces. Gabriel is the messenger angel, who delivers important messages from God to humans. Lucifer was the anointed cherub, who became Satan, the leader of the fallen angels. Jude 1 verse 9, Daniel 10 verse 13, Luke 1 verse 19, Ezekiel 28 verse 14, Revelation 12 verse 7, 5 The sin and repentance of fallen angels The sin of fallen angels was the sin of pride and rebellion. They wanted to be like God, or even above God, and they refused to submit to his authority and will. They corrupted their original nature and purpose, and became evil and wicked. They oppose God and his plans, and they tempt and deceive humans to sin and rebel against God. They are the source of all evil and suffering in the world, and they seek to destroy God's creation and people. Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15, 1 Peter 5 verse 8, John 8 verse 44, Ephesians 6 verse 12, Fallen angels cannot repent, because their choice was final and informed. They made their decision with full knowledge and free will, and they cannot change their minds or hearts. They have no hope or mercy, and they know their doom is certain. They are condemned by God, and they await their final judgment and punishment. 2 Peter 2 verse 4, Jude 1 verse 6, Matthew 25 verse 41, Revelation 20 verse 10, 6 The divine justice of God God is fair and righteous in his judgment. He does not show favoritism or partiality, but he judges everyone according to their deeds and motives. He does not overlook or ignore sin, but he punishes it according to its severity and consequences. 
He does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked, but he desires that they turn from their ways and live. He is the ultimate standard of justice, and he will not let the guilty go unpunished, or the innocent suffer unjustly. Romans 2 verse 11, Psalm 96 verse 13, Ezekiel 18 verse 23, Exodus 34 verse 7, Psalm 103 verse 6, Fallen angels face eternal punishment for their rebellion. They have sinned against God, who is infinitely holy and good, and they have caused untold damage and misery to his creation and people. They have no excuse or defense, and they have no chance of redemption or forgiveness. They will be thrown into the lake of fire, where they will suffer torment and agony forever and ever, without any relief or escape. This is the just and deserved penalty for their sin, and the expression of God's wrath and justice. Revelation 20 verse 10, Matthew 8 verse 29, Mark 9 verses 43 to 48, Romans 2 verses 5 to 6, God offers redemption to humans who repent and believe in Jesus. Humans are also sinners, who have rebelled against God and deserve His judgment and wrath. But God loves humans, and He has made a way for them to be saved from their sin and its consequences. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh, to die on the cross for the sins of the world. He took the punishment that we deserved, and He paid the price for our forgiveness. He rose from the dead, and He offers eternal life to anyone who trusts in Him as their Lord and Savior. He is the only way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through Him. John 3 verse 16, Romans 5 verses 8 and 1 John 2 verses 2 and 1 Peter 3 18, John 14 verse 6, 7 The lessons and conclusion of the video The Rebellion of Fallen Angels shows the importance of free will. God gave angels and humans the ability to choose, because He wanted them to love and obey Him willingly, not by force or necessity. He respects their choices, even if they are wrong, and He holds them accountable for their actions. He also gives them the opportunity to repent and be forgiven, if they are willing to humble themselves and submit to Him. Free will is a gift and a responsibility, and we should use it wisely and rightly. Joshua 24 verse 15, Deuteronomy 30 verses 19 and 2 Chronicles 7 14, James 4 verse 10, the fate of fallen angels reminds us of the consequences of sin. Sin is not a trivial or harmless matter, but a serious and deadly offense against God. It separates us from God, and it leads to death and destruction. It affects not only ourselves, but also others and the world around us. It is not something to be ignored or taken lightly, but to be confessed and forsaken. Sin has a price, and we cannot pay it ourselves. We need a Savior, who can save us from our sin and its consequences. Isaiah 59 verse 2, Romans 6 verse 23, James 1 verses 15 and 1 John 1 verse 9, Romans 3 verses 23 to 24, the story of human redemption reveals God's love and mercy. God is not only a just and holy judge, but also a loving and gracious Father. He does not want anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, but He shows us His kindness and compassion. He gave His only Son, who is the perfect and sinless image of God, to die for us, while we were still sinners and enemies of God. He demonstrated His love for us in the most sacrificial and selfless way possible. He forgives us of all our sins, and He adopts us as His children. He gives us His Holy Spirit, who guides us, teaches us, and empowers us. He promises us a glorious and eternal inheritance, where we will be with Him forever, in a new heaven and a new earth, where there will be no more sin, sorrow, pain, or death. Psalm 103 verses 10 to 13, John 3 verse 16, Romans 5 verses 8 to 10, Colossians 1 verse 15, Ephesians 1 verses 3 to 14, Revelation 21 verses 1 to 4. We can receive this amazing gift of salvation by faith in Jesus Christ. Faith is not a blind or irrational belief, but a reasonable and personal trust in the person and work of Jesus. Faith is not a mere intellectual assent, but a heartfelt commitment and surrender to Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Faith is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey of following and obeying Jesus, and growing in His grace and knowledge. Faith is not a solo act, but a communal and relational experience, where we belong to the body of Christ, the Church, and we love and serve one another, and share the Gospel with the world. Hebrews 11 verse 1, John 20 verses 30 to 31, Romans 10 verses 9 to 10, 2 Peter 3 verse 18, Ephesians 4 verses 15 to 16, 1 John 4 verses 7 to 12, Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. We hope that this video has helped you understand why God does not forgive fallen angels and Satan, and how that contrasts with His grace and mercy towards humans who repent and believe in Jesus. We hope that this video has challenged you to examine your own heart and life, and to make sure that you have a genuine and saving faith in Jesus Christ. We hope that this video has encouraged you to worship and praise God for His amazing love and justice, and to share this good news with others who need to hear it. Thank you for watching Celestial Chronicles. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron or making a donation. We appreciate your support and prayers. God bless you, and see you in the next video.